Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a mini sew along pattern review of Friday Pattern Company's Adrian Blouse, which I am wearing right now. I really liked the sewing pattern and I definitely plan on making more, so let's get right to it. First step is to print and cut the pattern pieces. I bought the digital version, which includes a print shop version if you aren't interested in printing at home. The pattern itself is only 12 pages, so right off the bat I'm pretty stoked about sewing because I know it won't take just an hour to assemble the pattern. It took just over 16 minutes to get this pattern taped together and cut out for the size that I selected, and I'd say I'm pretty impressed. For this project, you will need fabric that has 25% stretch, and the instructions do include a little guide to help you figure out how much stretch your fabric has. Cutting this pattern out is rather straightforward. It took me just over eight minutes to get this all cut out. I cannot find my tripod, so there is no footage of me cutting it out, but this is what all the pattern pieces look like when you cut them all out. Pretty simple. You'll also need to cut out four pieces of elastic, two for the neckline and two for your wrist. First step is pretty easy. With wrong sides together, you'll need to fold and press your neckline pieces. And then after that, you just need to pin them right sides together to the body pieces. Go ahead and stitch those pieces together using a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. Um, you will need to stretch them a little bit to make them even in length and every stitch in this pattern is going to use a zigzag or whatever stretch stitch you have. And here's what they look like. Go ahead and press those flat. And then after that, you can just sew up the side seams. So far, the steps to this pattern are very straightforward. Moving on to the sleeves now, you'll wanna fold that little portion down and pin it on the top of the sleeves to the inside so wrong sides together, and this creates the casing for the elastic at the top of the sleeves. And once you've done that, you can grab your safety pin and your longer piece of elastic and feed it through that casing. And here's what that looks like once you have the elastic all fed through. Tack down those elastic edges so that the elastic does not come out. And no project is complete without your bobbin running out. So take a break, fill it up. After that, you can go ahead and sew up the side seams of the sleeve. At this point, you can create the casing for the elastic that goes around your wrist, and then you'll wanna attach the sleeves to the bodice of the top. And then after that, all you need to do is hem the shirt. I didn't do anything too fancy because I'll just tuck the shirt into whatever I'm wearing. So I did have to make some modifications to this pattern. I don't know if you can see it here, but it gets this little wrinkle, and it used to be a lot worse. So what I did was, in this sewing pattern, the back neckline and the front neckline are the same length. So I made the one in the front shorter, um, and it did help a little bit, um, but as you can see, it's still there. So I pressed it a lot. Um, I don't know if it's because the fabric is so thin, or maybe I didn't cut it directly, you know, properly on the, on the fabric. I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it helped a little bit. So hopefully in my next version, I'll go with something that's a little thicker and hopefully it'll get rid of this, this little divot thing. The sewing pattern is only three pattern pieces and the construction is quite simple. So I think that makes it a good candidate for using it for another project that you have in mind, maybe making a really cool dress or any modifications or alterations that you need to make are relatively simple to make that happen. So yeah, overall I really like it. You can make your romantic pirate sleeve dreams come true. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you today and I will see you next time. Why is this so hard? Can you hear me? You just ignore me, so I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put some music on or something in those headphones? Uh, sure. You don't want to listen to me. I like listening to you. I think you're doing good. Oh, thanks, babe.